Hey guys, today I'm gonna to be showing you my new lift I made. This lift is not really like a scissor lift, and it's not really like a boom lift. I guess it's more comparable to a scissor lift since it goes straight up. So I built this out of some, a ladder, a wagon, and wood. This, the, all the blue stuff was existing. It used to be a snowplow wagon. With this here, I've attached this ladder to it at a slight angle, and I have the winch motor on it right here and it pulls up this cart right here, which this portion is what you stand on. That stays level at all times, it's all the way down. And it's guided by these wheels. So these wheels right here guide it like vertically to make sure it's still going up straight, those ones too. And then these wheels here are what keep it on the track. Right here we don't have wheels we did, but they didn't work out well since this pretty much always stays pushing against it this way and stays pretty straight because it's getting pulled that way. We didn't need them, but to make sure it doesn't fold backwards if you stand close to that edge, I've got this wood here, which I need to replace with these lag bolts that are just there to keep it from falling back, but they usually aren't needed because they never really touch often. As you see, here's our guide wheel on this side. I'm gonna do some more modifications, but basically the cable goes up there, around to the very top and down loops back there to pull up this first section and then it goes back up there to that pulley to pull up this section so usually since there's less resistance this part right here will pull up first and then once it ma maxes out it hits the top then the section of the ladder will come up but i'll show you that later now this thing is definitely a little bit scary it's not I'm not sure if it's very safe as it doesn't have railings. As far as tipping over, I was leery of it at first, but I'm getting more trust in it as it's pretty strong. There's not too much flex to it. Sometimes it'll scare you because this cable will get a little loose and wind up loose. So then sometimes it will drop a couple inches on you, which will sometimes freak you out a little, but there's no really harm in it. So I'm gonna show you what this looks like when it's going down and up. of it here. Pretty high up. So now I've got the winch in the faster setting which will only do 220 pounds. So I'm guessing that's probably 20 30 pounds. So I'm going to say my uh capacity is probably about 180 pounds for this guy to lift which isn't too bad i could put it in the slower setting but then of course it'd be slower and i'd have to add more pulleys so there's still some work to do on this thing i'll show you how you move it around it's pretty simple i've got the jacks under it because it's more tippy without them or the jack stands i should say then i can unplug the lift and start moving it.
Now I put them right under this blue piece of wood where most of the weight comes from. It's heavy, but it's not too heavy that you can't move it a little to get the jacks under it. I keep moving around the cord to try and get it in the best spot where it will give me the most reach, but uh, still, uh, but, and not get pinched. All right, that should be good and solid. Should be. I'm gonna see how close it would get me to the roof line to like do gutters or something, clean gutters. First, we gotta plug it in though. So it works better that way. So here it'll definitely get me up to the the roof and get my feet to the height that I can work on the gutters if I need to. And uh, it's a little tippy. Yeah, it doesn't have a. That's pretty much maxed out the reach, but that's enough. That's high enough for me. Sometimes this section will not go down, but this one will, which can only go so far. So I need to put some lubricant on it, I think. But you can just do that. I think that's a decent height right there. Now you might say how this is how is this better than a ladder and in most cases like this it's really not a ladder would probably be better because it'd be more stable but say I want to get to the how did my flag manage to do that? Say I need to get to this wire here somewhere in the middle I doubt I would ever need to do that but if you did for that sort of situation this is where that is good for as it can go up without anything to lean on it doesn't need a wall to lean on it. it's self-supporting and you have a bigger work work platform now when if you get this stabled properly if you get it properly stable it's actually a decent work platform i might put some handles or something to hang on to a little better there but i don't think railings would be good because that's uh wouldn't be as fun without railings they're gotta be a little gotta be scary that's what makes it fun I'd show you getting to the tower, but I can't really get over there because it's too tall to go under the deck and there's pool and stuff over here, so I can't really get over there to show you, but it would be good for stuff like that or good for something if you don't want to lean on it, like a tree maybe. I want to see how much it will extend over top of the pool to see if I could jump off it into the pool. I thought, I guess it was going downhill. Pull the ground and see if it can tip over. Oh, jeez. Doesn't look like it's gonna get me over the pool, but it might be able to get me close.
that about concludes my video on this. Now I have no idea where the heck I'm gonna store this thing as it's pretty big. I'm really not sure what the max height on this is, but whatever it is, it's high enough. I don't want to go any higher. This is plenty high, it's scary enough. So that's about it for this video though. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you got any comments or questions, make sure to leave those down in the comment section down below. If you like my videos and wanna see more like them, make sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching.